Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. My name is Ford Spig, and we are back on Minecraft on the Xbox 360 edition. And uh, I really need to move this chest right here. Um, but I really like how uh, this room is turning out. This is just the one of the main, one of the first houses I made. And I also need to do some interior decorating. I have some windows and some uh, some flower pots. I'm gonna eventually put on here if I ever get to it. If I stop procrastinating it and then uh, we'll probably do something up here um i have like an enchanting table idea or something like that um but yeah so we'll we'll, we'll be working on that uh sometime later uh but i have something that i want to show you guys um this video or i want to um let you know about it with some, let's maybe make sure i'm going the right way yeah it's this way um it's something that i've been wanting to do in minecraft for a long time i've I think I've attempted to do it in other worlds, and I've, I think I've attempted to do it previously before, uh, but never like in a Let's Play, and it's been a really, really long time, and I just, I feel like, like, the creativity or the large-scale stuff has, like, disappeared from me, and I really kind of want to bring that back a little bit, so something that I have been thinking about and planning uh, for a long time, and I've been scouting out an area, is, a uh, Kind of in it, this area, just imagine with me here for a second, a a huge castle, and um, I've uh, googled some images. I've uh, I've kind of basic. I've kind of did a base build on a creative world of kind of maybe the style. Um, it's probably obviously going to change a little bit, uh, but I want to do something large scale, some something like a castle or like a huge base, kind of kind of look kind of going for the castle look uh, because I think I'm, I'm going for kind of the old kind of like a medieval time theme in this world not like extreme medieval but you know what I mean uh, but just I kind of want to build like a huge castle right here like I'm, I'm imagining like a stairs going up right here and then going over this way to like a huge uh, room that there with trails going up into like this huge castle area uh, that's way up there and uh, just imagine that with me. Like, what what do you think? Uh, give me your thoughts. Uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, what you think of uh, of like a huge castle area? It's going to take a ton of stone, and it would probably be a project that I work on every couple of videos, or maybe a little bit um, every once in a while. Uh, kind of do updates on it or something. There's probably going to be a lot of on my own time uh, builds, but I want to make it like super detailed and super large, and maybe even take it off a little bit, go off that way, have like little um, medieval houses out here with like the, with like the wheat stuff, with horse stables and, and all kinds of that, but I really kind of think that I want to do that sometime in the, uh, in the near future, uh, so let me know what your thoughts are on that, and, um, uh, because I really am excited to do that, we're probably not going to uh, get started on this video, um, but maybe in the near future we'll definitely, definitely look into that. Um, so yeah, so let's go on and uh, I've got I've actually got something to show y'all so I'm gonna run over there and uh, then I will show you what I have to show you. Okay, so I've made it over to a flatland biome and what I have here is a box and uh, now what I have inside of this box is really cool. So I uh, I wanted to see, what would happen if I came over to a uh, to a to a flatland biome like this? Because um, there's only there's there's an, a mob that can only spawn, and I believe I, I believe it's just this. And so what I did is I pillared up like 20 blocks or something, and uh, there were no horses in the biome. And what I did is I exited the game, and then I reloaded it. So so everything was exited out and reloaded it. And then horses started spawning everywhere. Let's like, let's see if I can do it now. I'm not gonna do it right now. I might make a, a tutorial video on it, like I made uh, the colorful sheet video. Um, I'm starting a new series to kind of it's like a tips and tricks, uh, tips and tricks for Minecraft. Uh, it's not like that's not 100% the name, uh, but actually, yes, what I do have in here is a horse. Woo! Now I've already trained it. Um, it is mine. It's beautiful black horse. And I don't have a name for it, probably get a name tag for it well, someday. But that is just a super awesome looking horse. And it's really fast. I don't know. Like, I th Wait. 
I forgot. Can you tell me how many hearts it has? Can you? Okay, yeah, it's got 11 hearts, but it, this thing is really, really fast. You can tell uh, how fast it is um, by how fast it like how, f how fast it runs when you when you train it. Uh, but yeah, it's, it was really cool. I was excited because I didn't know that if horses spawned on Xbox 360 or not. I, I was I I did know because I'd never found one, and I've I've actually looked around in previous worlds and stuff for a long time. So maybe um, they can't can't spawn in old generated worlds. I don't know, um, but yeah, I'm really excited to finally have this horse. And uh, while while the game is auto saving, because once again I keep my auto save on 15 minutes because I've lost just so much stuff before. Um, I I was playing the other day, and as you know, like the new update came out. I explained that in my uh, in my colorful sheep video about how you can uh, make sheep turn different colors. Um, but something I noticed is the achievements. Um, there's like a million of them now. Like there's all kinds of new achievements, and there were there's weird ones like cure a zombie, tame an ocelot, sh use shears to obtain wool from a sheep, gather all sixteen colors of wool, swim in lava while having the fire resistance. And because I didn't I didn't know that until like um I opened up a chest uh, shortly after the, uh, I downloaded the update, and it said mine one thousand seven hundred twenty eight cobblestone and place it in a chest, and I was like, wait what? That's an achievement. And so I went to achievements and I looked around and there's all the ones uh, that are that we've currently had, but then there's also like all these new ones. I believe yeah, there's a total of a uh, 50, I believe. So 50 achievements. So I think one video we should have like a finale or like I think I might do that for like a special video like to where we get all the achievements like in one episode. That would be really cool if I don't get them accidentally because uh, some of them are like cook and eat a pork chop. So obviously I'm going to do that because I have like a pork chop in my inventory right here. And then also another thing I noticed is when you hit the pause button, the game fr like the game freezes. Um, so it, it does that on single player on the PC, but it used to not do this in the Xbox 360 edition. Uh, so if I jump hit pause, See how I'm floating in the air like it completely pauses uh, the game. So that's just one thing to note um, in case you want to, in case you're like falling into lava, you can pause the game and then you can change it to creative mode and then swim out of the lava or something. I don't know, but that's just that's just a little quick tip. So uh, I currently do not have a saddle. Uh, so what I'm going to have to do is, uh, is get a saddle and then I'll have to tame this guy. Um, but yeah, I just want to let you all know that I do have a horse, and they can spawn in Xbox 360 World. So that's really, 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 really exciting. So yeah, let's. All right, so let's let's go do something else now. You know, as I'm running back to my base um, from the from where I found the horse, and I'm, and I also took a visit at the village, and we will go there in uh, just a little bit. But it really kind of makes me wish that I wish I had a saddle right now because. Honestly, it is taking forever to run through all these mountains and valleys and stuff. I get a horse, I would already be home by now. So I really, really need to look for and find a saddle so I can uh, get on that horse and whip it up and start riding it. Yep, really, really wishing I had a horse right now. Like, a lot. Okay, so after many days of trekking and many hours and long nights of running, we have finally made it to the village, and uh, I've got some emeralds, some sugar canes, which will turn into paper, some wheat, and uh, we're going to set up camp, and we're going to see if we can trade with some villagers. Um, we have not done it yet in in this world, and uh, one one of my sayings, my old sayings, uh, in my many years of, is, of playing this game is... Uh, the villagers make you rich. What makes you rich in Minecraft is the villagers because they, I mean, they pay, f they pretty much give you all the things that are expensive and, I mean, villagers are the way to do it. So, villagers make you rich. So, we're going to trade with some villagers. Um, I've got three emeralds and I've got some, uh, some wheat um, in case the farmers, because remember we have two farmers, a librarian, and I think that's it, two farmers and a librarian, and uh, that's it. So uh, the farmers are extremely, extremely important. The, I mean, they're probably the best villagers you can get in in the game. So uh, let's real quick trade with this guy first. And remember, what this guy has is something that we very, very muchly want, which is 
melon slices. Now, they're super hard to find, and they're extremely rare. Like, you find them in dungeons and stuff. So let's grab some melon slices there, and we can use these for, like, instant healing potions. And, I mean, like, you can get all tons of apples, and it's crazy. Like, farmers are literally the best villagers and librarians, of course. But, all right, so let's see what your next trade is. Oh, shears. That's not... I didn't know farmers offered shears. Um, but let's let's keep going. Oh, no, we need to find... A, no, 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 please don't go out. No, 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 go back in. No, 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 go back in. Please go back in. Please go back in. No, come on. Can, can you just go back into your house, please? There's, uh, there's cobblestone in there. There's cobblestone. Don't you want some cobble? Okay, we'll, we'll deal with you later. It's not going to leave the village. Alright, so let's trade with the librarian. Let's, let's clear inventory a little bit. And, ooh, yes. Seven emeralds. Sweet. All right, what do you have off to offer us now? 11 books for an emerald? I don't think so. All right, let's just keep going on this and see if he can offer anything new. Um, I don't think so. Come on, man, please. Wow. We got 13 emeralds from that one. Okay, yeah, see this, and I, I believe it might even, like, replenish himself. Um, so eventually one day what we're going to want to do is we're going to try to get these villagers back to our base. I might even, in the castle um, that I was talking about, we might want to get some, have, like, a villager stand somewhere. Um, I think that would be pretty cool, like, or have, like, a s automatic villager slot or something. Uh, with a breeder or village breeder, I don't I don't really know much about it, but I could definitely learn, and we can make something really cool. Okay, so you do not need to fall in here. That would be no good. Do not fall in there. What you need to do? Wait, let's see. All right, let's let's take a shear and see what else you have. Um, okay, yes, seventeen raw chicken for an emerald. I don't want to do that. So let's get. Another melon, another apple, and then let's go. Wait, are you going to replenish anything? No, I don't think so. All right, let's go find the other, the other, uh, what's his face? Farmer. Wait, yeah, here he is. And what do you have to, oh, you have, oh, we don't have any gravel. Okay, so you, we can't trade with you yet, um, but we will definitely trade with you soon. Okay, so we got these two guys in here. So let's, can I still reach you? Come on, dude. Yeah, and we're going to want to completely block these off because we do not want zombies getting in here. So let's go one, boom, 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 boom. All right, so basically we just like took all that stuff from the village. That is oh, that is so great. All right, let's push you back in there, close that off, and get that in there so you are not allowed to get out. And I believe that we got both of the farmer villagers in there and the librarian who is... Off by himself in there, and now I realize that I could take the library books, and and use those um, for the. You know what? I can actually hang on, hang on. I just had a great idea. <laughs> it might be a great idea. I don't know. Um, let's see if I can make. If I can, okay. Do these give you books? Correct, right? Oh my gosh, they do. Three six nine. So we we we're actually going to still be able to trade with that last. Um, with or with the librarian, so let's go back in here, and because he's offering, he's offering, uh, yeah, eleven books. So let's do that. Okay, now we're gonna get to see what his next trade is. Sweet. Originally, I wasn't going to. Oh no. Well, I didn't do anything. Originally, I was gonna not not take these books down, but I guess now I am. Uh, let's see if we can trade with them one more time. Maybe that will give us. Maybe maybe that'll get us something good. Okay, so we got ten. All right, so we're gonna have to get one more. One more book in here, so let's just take this book down, and I will replace these books back eventually. All right, now unlock something new and good, like glowstone. Three emeralds for a bookshelf. That's actually not that bad if you think about it, because bookshelves are very expensive, and so like mean, three emeralds. That's, I mean, that's like, uh, like. Three, two stacks or three stacks of sugar cane. So I could definitely, definitely do that. Um, so these guys aren't that bad. Uh, once we get them breeding and get them all and getting get them all worked up and stuff, um, when we take them back to our houses and stuff, um, we will definitely be able to uh, breed some new stuff and get all kinds of great 
villagers, and we can have like set up this whole huge villager system. I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to that. This like I cannot wait for the the stuff, and I say this almost in every single video, but I cannot wait for the stuff that I've got planned for this world. We got like the castle. We got our uh, the seaside, um, kind of like the seaside base going up. We got two buildings with the. We've got like a fishing hut. We've got a, a mob farm that's getting tons and tons of resources. Um, gonna eventually maybe uh, soon work on a slime farm underground. It's gonna be easily to blow that up with all the TNT uh, that we're getting. We could even build stuff out here. Uh, we could go into the jungle and build stuff. We got snow biomes. We could build underground. It's incredible, crazy. I just cannot wait. It's super, super exciting to see to see what we've got going on. So. Um, I think we're going to do one more thing, uh, maybe make a small um, melon farm for the end of this video, and because uh, I am just about out of time for this video, um, and yeah, I'm hungry, and I need some lunch, <laughs> so let's go back over to our base, and we will get started on a melon farm. Okay, so I decided that um, for now, I think what uh, I want to do is just have like a simple... Um, just just kind of some melons growing over here on the side um, but in the future we will make an automatic farm uh, maybe over there or maybe like because just just imagine this with me here's another big build I want you to imagine with me is an underground I want to build something like this huge area underground it's gonna have like slime farms incorporated into it uh, which is why I can't build a slime farm until um, I find a good spot for like an underground farm so I don't know if I want to do it way over there or if I want to keep it like centered in here like closer to the to the castle we'll be building um, I, I, I could link it up with that right there and have it you know going all over the place going and like you could go down into the branch mine um, uh, but you know I don't know so um, I decided that until until we, we until we figure out some more of what we're doing, uh, that I'm just gonna have like a simple, um, five, six, probably about eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, six. Uh, let's, I've decided that I'm just gonna have like a simple um, melon farm that they, they will grow, and I'll just manually pick them. Uh, but the redstone is definitely not the problem because we have plenty, plenty, plenty of redstone. I mean, I've got like, oh yeah, literally, I go down and show you right now because. Um, it is time for the strip, or the subscriber strip mine, um, I'm not really, I need a name for it. Subscriber strip mine special at the end of every video or something like that. Um, basically what this is, is I take a subscriber, um, and, uh, take like something that they said, or if they sent me something like some fan art, or, uh, they left a nice comment, and I basically, uh, give them a strip mine, and uh, I go 150 blocks out and I take the results of what they got and then I put them up here and so far we've only had one Zach Nolan and I'm actually going to be changing his um, name because he um, requested that I change his name because uh, he got a different YouTube as well as a different gamer tab so I'm going to be changing his as well as uh, getting a new person so um, let's get right on to that so the person that I'm going to be adding to the subscriber strip mines today is going to be a person by the name of Eli and Charlie. Now they are brothers and uh, they were the first, so look, I got it brings me up to a story is that uh, they were the first people um, that ever, uh, that ever uh, went into my love tower and basically what my love tower um, is was a, a way of, for me saying thank you to my subscribers in like my very first let's play now it was very small and I didn't make it very far in that and uh, but he did he was the first person to ever send me fan mail and actually uh I have his his a uh, letter that he that he wrote to me and sent to me I have it right up here on my desk uh, now I know him personally so he was able to to give it to me uh, personally um, but yeah I have that right here on my desk um, so I can see that and if I'm ever feeling discouraged or something I can always read that uh, letter that he that he wrote me and I can say you know what you know like this is why I do it you know for people like that um, so Eli and Charlie here is your right, so let's do Eli and Charlie so here is your 
Strip Mine, Eli, and Charlie. Alrighty, so I have gone and I have done the strip and I have got the results. The total of Eli and Charlie's strip mine, it wasn't as high as I was hoping, and I know it's not going to be as high as they are hoping. Um, it is 1,264. Now, the first one was 4,829. So that is over like a 3,000 point difference right there. So my best guess is that this strip, Super Killer, and actually it is not Zach Nolan anymore. It is Super Killer XXX1 that's his gamer tag as well as his YouTube. Um, he, I believe he got a very, very good strip mine because I think it's going to be a while before anyone catches up to that almost 5,000 points. Um, so with 1,264 points, Eli and Charlie, y'all came in, y'all are in now second place because, yeah, so yeah, because y'all are like the next people. So congratulations, Eli and Charlie for getting uh, 1,000 and, uh, and <laughs> for getting 1,000 and I should probably, oh, you know what? I didn't even write down. Um, so we got Eli and Charlie in second place with 1,264 diamonds. But anyway, that is the end of this video here. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Now, uh, just uh, on a side note real quick, just remember I am getting a new microphone sometime this later this week. And I'm really excited, so just bear with me for a couple more videos for the bad audio quality. Um, I am getting a new mic, so don't worry. Uh, I've got a lot of exciting videos planned. Um, I can't wait to be working on the castle, some more on the mob farm. Uh, we just got stuff all over the place. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like down below if you did enjoy this video, and I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and goodbye.